Your Time, bringing out the best in you. Good morning, or as my friends say, Hola Bangana. Bonke, your life coach, coming to your house again. Today, Bangana, I want to share a story with you, a story that I had about two or three days ago, and it has stayed with me because it's quite important. Each time I go through challenging times in my life, I think about it, reread it, and uh, it helps me out. And I hope today it's going to help you. Here we go. A gentleman by the name of uh, John. Uh, John was about 39 years old, and he had a seven-year-old son. The son loved to throw tantrums. He used to shout at people, uh, break glasses, and you know, just become a naughty kid when he's angry. He was unable to control his, his anger. So one day his dad said to him, Son, I want you to do me a favor. Each and every day when you are angry and shout at people, swear at people sometimes, I want you to go and take a hammer and a nail. Go to your room and just hoi very hard the nail against the wall. The son said, oh, that's an easy thing. I will do it. For eight months, each time the, the boy was angry, he will go to his room, take the nail, hammer, knock it in, knock it in, knock it in. Um, and then six months down the line, the father went to his room and said, okay, how are you feeling? The son said, not dad, I've been shouting at people, swearing at people, saying bad things about them when I'm angry. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to do it anymore. The father said, well done, son. What you have to do now is to remove the nails off the wall. Easy job. The son went out took around 186 nails out. He felt good that, I mean, from now on he won't shout at people, meaning that he won't need to actually hammer the nails into the wall. But the father made him realize one thing. The wall was damaged because with each and every nail, he was cracking the wall, cracking the wall. Even though the nails were removed, the wall was not the same. It was going to take some doing to fix the wall. What's the lesson there? The lesson is the wall is like your purpose in life. So many people don't pay attention to their purpose and each and every time they keep on hammering things that damage their purpose. Saying that not, I don't want to be responsible, I don't want to be focused in life, I'm going to wait until I am 25, I'm going to wait until I get married, I'm going to wait until I start working. They keep on doing things that are damaging their purpose on earth. Most people ask me, Bonke, what's your definition of a purpose? Simple definition, I call it original intent. The same way that we have all different fingerprints, we have different purposes in this world. No one can come to you and say, this is your purpose. Your purpose is from within. It's something that you discover in you that makes you happy. And so many times, because we're still young and growing Bangana, we find something that we like, but doesn't pay us. And we completely ignore it. By ignoring your purpose and doing things that pay you but don't fulfill when as a person you're hammering nails into your papers. For example, I loved talking, I loved sharing, I loved reading. But at a young age, I'll sit and read three, four books a week, a month. When my friends were out having fun, I could have gone and had fun, but I was doing something that made me happy. And guess what? I'm getting the reward from it. My wall was clean when opportunity knocked for me to come and share stuff with you. I've read so many books. I know most things about purposes, leadership, um, potential. I can motivate people in that because I kept my wall clean. Is your wall clean? Are you hammering nails every two, three days into your purpose? If you're doing that, Mangan, I am warning you when opportunity knocks, you will remove those nails. There will be holes all over your papers and it will take time for you to clean and fix the wall. By the time you finish fixing the wall, papers will be gone, opportunity will be gone. 
and you have to start from scratch. And then that is it for me today. Make sure that your wall is clean. Make sure that you do not damage your own papers. No one else can do it. It's your papers, you have control over it, and make sure that you keep it clean so an opportunity knocks. You can jump on top of it. Bangana, if you want the script of what we talked about today, log on to www.len.co.za or log on to www.bonke.co.za. Till next week, shapizo.